Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the 10 TV moments that have aged horribly. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Next up. There's a lot of celebrities that have fallen from grace over the years, some dramatically more than others. When you hear this next line, it will positively make you shudder. First on BBC One, Prince Andrew becomes part of Jimmy Savile's dream team. That's right, Prince Andrew appeared on Jimmy Savile's Jim Will Fix It. Given his current reputation, Prince Andrew's appearance on the show is uncomfortable to say the least. I think you've got one or two admirers on the other ship. While it may have been a treat for the audience at the time, in hindsight, it's enough to make your skin crawl. You give me a clue and I can tell you every single one of the 1,500. Number 9. Guest Appearance And I'll have a packet of cheese and onion for our guest. Many have said that Bo Selector has aged badly because of its use of offensive stereotypes and blackface. However, we're going to focus on something else here, the appearance of Craig David. Lee Francis' depiction of the music star was probably the biggest draw of the show, and the actual Craig David decided to take it on the chin and appear in one episode as Craig Davis. However, this did little to help the damage the parody had caused on his career. Not only did the Craig David character cause a decline in his popularity, it also affected his mental health significantly. It's definitely clear that he wouldn't have agreed to make the cameo given how he feels now. I couldn't see anything in any of the characters that in any way was kind of empowering anyone. Number 8. Many Faces The comedic duo of Matt Lucas and David Williams have apologised profusely for their unsavoury work in Little Britain, as despite being beloved by the public, there's some stuff that is quite hard to watch. But their show, Come Fly With Me, has arguably aged even worse, to the point that the BBC has practically nuked it from existence. Everything is fine. In the show, there is a constant use of blackface that was seen as excessive even by the standards of the time it aired. Well, we got fire, but we got no coffee. The Lord in his almighty wisdom has decided to take the coffee from us. Though the show does have a passionate audience, it can be hard to defend some of the sketches against today's standards. I like him with long hair. I like him with short hair. Oh. Number 7. A Not-So-Pleasant Surprise <laughs> Top of the Pops was Britain's premier television program when it came to all things music, and given who hosted it, it obviously has its fair share of badly aged moments. However, we look towards this moment when the band The Time Lords were performing their song Doctor in the TARDIS. <laughs> If you know who made the original, you can probably guess where this is going. In what was supposed to be a wonderful, unadvertised guest appearance, Gary Glitter emerges into the studio asking the disturbing questions, do you love me and do you want to touch me? In hindsight, this is deeply, deeply disturbing. Number 6. April's Past The IT Crowd was an incredible comedy series which launched the careers of stars like Richard Ayoade. However, there is one episode that remains something of a black mark on its reputation. Do you know I've never been so enchanted by a woman in all my life? Oh. That being the episode in which big boss Douglas Renham falls in love with a woman, with the supposed punchline being that she is transgender. You used to be a man. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> this leads to Renham going into a blind rage and engaging in a fight with his former lover. In recent years, series creator Graham Linehan has faced a lot of controversy for his comments against the transgender community, which makes this scene appear even more hate-fueled. In contrast, Renham's actor Matt Berry labelled the episode ridiculous and dated. You bastard. 
Number 5. Defending Uncle Alberts Would you tell the court what happened? <clears throat> My uncle fell down a hole. Only Fools and Horses remains one of the greatest British television shows of all time. However, there's one moment that stands out like a sore thumb. When in court for a case between Uncle Albert and the Nags Head Brewery, Del Boy has to take the stand to speak on Uncle's character. That's when he makes this remark. What I used to call him the Jimmy Savile of Peckham. <laughs> in this day and age, that would get him thrown behind bars in a matter of seconds. Obviously, this was alluding to the fact that Savile would run marathons and such for charity, but we now know that this was just a disguise for his horrific ways. So we have be all, Mr. Trotter. Thank you. Number four, transported. Your lunch. Yeah, mmm, boy, oh boy. Count Dracula is a beloved children's classic. Even so, there's some moments that really don't hold up to modern standards. In this episode, Count Dracula's castle is transported to the distant land of China. Well, well, well. We shall see. We shall see. Upon arrival, audiences are greeted with several depictions of Chinese characters that come across as racist stereotypes. Just a one cotton picking moment here, matey boy. What do you think you'll do to my price, yes? <laughs> While lots of the humor of Count Dracula holds strong to this day, some fans are a little uncomfortable when rewatching this particular episode. Number 3. Kids Can Say No This one is just vile. As we all know, before his death, Rolf Harris was imprisoned for assault on minors. Before that, he was basically a national treasure. That's what makes this clip so disgusting. In 1985, Harris hosted an educational children's show called Kids Can Say No, which taught kids how to avoid situations which could be considered assaults. The irony of Rolf Harris of all people hosting this piece is obviously not lost on audiences of today. Run your own body, let me run mine. Number 2. Jason Lee Impression David Baddiel has been a staunch anti-racism advocate in recent years, but even he has a checkered past. Back when he and Frank Skinner's show Fantasy Football League was airing, they would lambast player Jason Lee on multiple occasions. Class? Uh, send him in, love. <laughs> But the bullying wasn't enough. In one sketch, Badil donned blackface and fake dreads to imitate the football striker. Oh, come on, boss. you got to give us another chance. My first touch is really improving. It took decades for Badil to apologize for this crude act, seemingly only when the footage resurfaced. While Lee seemed to appreciate the apology, he also questioned why it took so long for David to reach out to him. <laughs> Fantastic, boss. I wonder what the new goals will be like. Number one, when Jimmy met Rolf. May I present that to you, Sir James? Is oh. it Sir James or Sir Jimmy? No, it's uh, Jimmy. Birds of a feather do indeed seem to flock together, as is evident by the friendship between disgraced stars Jimmy Savile and Rolf Harris. The duo appeared alongside each other on more than one occasion, and though their link-up seemed saintly at the time, it is more so a demonic union in hindsight. Do you think I may leave her in your charge? Safely leave her in my capable hands here. Right. Seeing the two side by side is sickening already, but when there's children on screen too, it becomes increasingly hard to watch. What if I put my fingers down there it is like this? <laughs> Audiences can rest easy knowing that the two will never be seen together again. Which television moment do you think aged badly? Let us know in those comments below. Well, I think we should go straight to Nottingham and apologize. Yeah, we must do. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.